Welcome back to my channel. My name is uh, Sandeep Das. I'm starting this playlist for logical reasoning videos. So if you want to build your reasoning muscle, just keep listening to this video. What I will do is uh, in every video, I will pick a typical problem from the internet on logical reasoning and then I will solve it. What I recommend is you solve these problems along with me and I will talk about how you can use shortcuts to also get to the answer. Where are such problems used? These problems are used in entrance exams like CAT. These problems are used in business schools. But most importantly, you will use this muscle of logical reasoning if you're in a career like consulting, if you're in a career like investment banking. So without any further ado, why don't you click on the subscribe button, subscribe to the channel so that you will know next time when I put a video like this and just keep watching these videos and solving this problem with me so that you can also build that muscle. So without any further ado, let's get started. All right, let's move towards the problem. So in this problem, there are two statements. So statement number one is all actors are models. And statement number two is all models are artists. And what the conclusion is, and the problem says some artists are actors. And the question is, is this conclusion right or is this conclusion wrong? Now, this kind of a problem is very common in the world of business where you have to use Venn diagrams to actually see what fits in. And so let's start mapping out. So statement one, it says all actors are models. So this is actors and all actors are models, which means say there can be four actors, but there are seven models and four actors are a part of those seven models. So all actors are models. But the trick also here is you also have to look at another case and these kind of questions you have to look at all cases. So it could be there are four actors, but it could also be that there are only four models. So all actors are essentially models, meaning there is no model who is not an actor. So in this case, maybe the actors are four and the total number of models are seven, which means there are three models who are not actors. In this case, the total number of actors are four and the total number of models are also four. So this is statement number one. Now statement number two is all models are artists. Now, why did I put some numbers? When you put some numbers, it becomes easier to solve this. So all models are artists. So let's put another Venn diagram here. Say which is, this is artists. Now, which means say maybe there are 10 in total. So all models are artists. So four actors, four actors are a part of seven models. Seven models are a part of 10 artists. So this is the subset, subset kind of modeling. Now all models are artists. It could also mean that there is a third diagram here and there are artists and maybe there are only four artists. So this is like an overlap scenario. So four actors are a part of four models and then four models are four artists. So it's only four, 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 which means one actor is also a model is also an artist. So this is statement number one, statement number two. Now they have asked you for a conclusion saying some actors are some artists are actors. Is this correct or is this wrong? Now, when you have to look at this question, what you have to see is you have to apply it to both the cases and only if it is correct in both the cases, you have to say it is right or wrong. So the conclusion statement is some artists are actors. So let's look at the first scene. Some artists are actors. So there are 10 artists out of this four artists are actors. So some artists, four artists are actors. So in this case, the conclusion is true. In this case, the conclusion is true. But we also have to see if the conclusion is true in the other scenario. So in this case, what we have to see is some artists are actors. No, in this case, what is happening is all artists are actors, not some. And in this case, hence the conclusion is false. So in one case, it is true. In the other case, it is false. And hence the conclusion is false. So that is how you look at these kind of problems to solve them. 
So I hope you enjoyed that logical reasoning example. What did you learn from this uh, question or do you have a better way or a different way to solve this problem? Drop those uh, suggestions of yours in the comments box. And like I said, please do these questions with me because this will really help you build that muscle for a career in consulting. To give you an example, in consulting, sometimes uh, the scope is very broad and you have to break down the scope into Venn diagrams to see what is what we call mutually exclusive and collectively exhaustive. I'll also make a video on VC and when you want to do something like VC in consulting, this is the kind of problem that will really help you. So hope you enjoyed this video. Before we finish, do subscribe to my channel, click on the bell icon and see you next time.